you come down. Did you get much sleep? I nodded off after a while. But it's really hard being in bed without Mum, in it. Yeah. Still, she's home today. We'll be able to make a fuss of her then. We'll she have her results. Have a lump to me? No, not yet. Right, come on. Let's get you some breakfast. You've been ages in the bathroom. Kept cutting myself shaving. It's not like you. Yeah, I got distracted. Got a lot on my mind. Yeah, me too. Do you want some? Uh, no, I'm fine, but thanks. Jack's coming over later, but not here. I didn't think it was right, not today. So we're going to go to Rovers. OK. Tyrone, I've got something I to... didn't think it'd get to me like this. Honest, I didn't. Cos I thought it got better with time. That's what they say, in it, that it's a healer. So, what are you talking about? Vera. It's the anniversary of her death. Um, all right. Can't believe it's been two years. It's like every time I come down them stairs and open that door, I just expect to see her stood here at the cook. Yeah. Mum, have you seen my black shirt? Try your room. It's probably crawled off into a corner to die. Well, I put it in the washing bin. Sean's coming round later and she really likes it. Must be serious if you're dressing to impress. Here you go. So things are going well, are they? On the love front. If you're trying to embarrass me, it's not going to work. I'm too used to it. Just take it in interest. I like Sean. I like the two of you together. Makes me believe that Cupid's still sharpening arrows. You're not taking an interest. I'll tell you what you're doing, Shella, because we did it in college. Ooh, mother studies. That's a new one on me. You are living your life vicariously. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that because you haven't got a boyfriend, you want to know all about me and Sean. It's like when people read romance novels. Oh, I see. Right. So, I'm a sad and lonely woman who nobody wants, so I'm obsessing about your love life. You could put it like that, yeah. Oh, charming, yeah. Well, I was going to give you some money to take Sean to the pictures, but I don't think I'll bother now. Hey, I, I never said it was a bad thing. Yeah, I don't think I'm ironing that shirt either. It's good that you take an interest. No, I won't bother anymore. Last thing I want is to be all vicariously-ish. What? Um, you can't be all vicariously-ish, it's vicarious. Right. <clears throat> well, I'm not giving you this because you're a cocky so-and-so. I'm giving you this. Because when I'm old and past it, I'm going to be a real leech off you. And yes, then, I'll be living my life vicariously. And I will enjoy every minute of it. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? You sat there an hour back when I asked you to take him to school and you said you had stuff to do. I have got stuff to do. I have just walked your daughter to school. Why are you being like this? Like what? You are being so annoying. Becky, I am being like I always am. Now, thank you for seeing to me. I appreciate it. Hey, Molly! Molly! Hey, listen. What are you saying about telling Tyrone he was leaving him? You haven't, have you? Not yet. Oh, good. But I'm going to. I was going to tell him this morning, but it's the anniversary of Vera's death, so... Don't. Don't tell him. Don't leave him. You're just scared it'll come out about us. Yeah, well, it will, won't it? Look, Sally's going through too much now. She mustn't find out about us. It'd kill her. I'm sorry, I can't pretend everything in my life is rosy just to spare your wife's feelings. Don't worry. I'm not going to say anything about you. I just can't live with him. Can't you understand that? Here he is. I'm not late, am I? No, oh, just opening up. Oh, cheers, mate. No, we'll 
be in. Uh, we can show them around. What's the name? Burrows. Yeah, OK, that's great. Thanks. We've got a view in. Great. When? This afternoon, a couple called Burrows. Apparently they've just been gazumped on a house, um, but they've got a mortgage in place, uh, no chain. Looking to buy quick. Fantastic. It's a viewing. It's not as though they're at the front door thrusting wads of cash at you. Ah, they'll love the place. I know they will. I've got a good feeling about yeah, this, Gail. Yeah, me too. I'm going to give the front a good brush over, you know, first impression. I'll tell you what, let's have a real good sort out in here. Clear all the surfaces, make it look bigger. We can store stuff on the boat. Good idea. I could even dress up like a butler. Open the front door, announce them. You could say I come with the house. This way to the drawing room. Um, was there any post? Uh, no, nothing for us. See, everything was going great. You know, we had our anniversary, we was happy. Then I turned down that job in Chester, and since that, it's been like living with another person. Yeah. Well, you'll just have to give us time to get over it, mate. I think she feels like I'd lie down. Look, you did what you thought was right. Fifty years Jack and Vera have been married. I can't imagine being married to Molly for fifty years the way she is. It's just exhausting trying to work out what type of mood she's going to be in. Dad! Mum's just rang from the hospital. She's ready to be picked up. Ooh, right. Which is good, right? Because they're letting her come home so quick. Yeah, of course it is. Look, uh, you'll be all right here, won't you, say? Yeah, you go and fetch her home and say hi from me. I work all evening in his yeah. pub. Making him money while his mother's visiting some other old slapper. Oh, Bev. <laughs> Sean's pulled a sickie, cussing along Sound of Music's in town. Michelle does bare minimum, yeah. as always. Mm -hmm. And I'm left with a pub full of empty glasses and a clogged bargain ladies. <coughs> and when I ask him for a bit of help from him, what owns the place? Do you know what I get, Bay? Well, not much. No, not not much. Note. Says he don't work here. It's not his job. I'm the one employed here, and if I don't like the arrangement, I can throw in the bar towel and bog off. Well, that's terrible. Which is exactly what he wants, you know. Oh, He's driven me out of his bed, and he wants to drive me out of his pub and all. It's outrageous, lovely. Yeah. Uh, so, do you know what I did? No, I've no idea. I thought, no, pal. Yeah. You ain't having things your way. So, I washed all the glasses. I ran my arm down toilet, sorted out the empties, gave carpet a good vacuum, and I tell you, that bar top is so polished, ducks would swim on it. Well, good for you, love. Mm. That'll teach him he can't have everything his own way, eh? <laughs> so, what you're saying is, you've been running the bar all day, more or less single-handed, and because you're spot on with what you say about Michelle... Oh, she's not use an ornament. Ah, uh, bare minimum, but a lovely girl. Mm, I don't see myself. Well, after running the bar, I mean, then you, you clean up and uh, then you give this place a, a good bottoming from top to tail. Yes. Well, that's certainly showing him who's got the upper hand, isn't it, eh? <laughs> You're not bothering with your pastry. It's lovely. I should have got these this morning. Guess well, I didn't have time. Yeah, well, you would have had time if you didn't burn the cake. Sophie, I'm no good at cooking. My talents don't lie in the kitchen. Mm, obviously. Have you two just come in here to have a row? Oh, no, we want them flowers for our mum, please. Yeah, she's been in hospital. Oh, um, is she coming home? Well, Dad's just brought her back. Mm. And she was meant to get flowers. Well, eight pound. Oh, did you see the way that Dad kissed Mum before? It was dead mushy. Yeah, Lou's been really worried about her. It's great to have her all. Yeah, well, she's gonna be fine. <laughs> she's gonna be fine, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, of course. No, will you clean the house? Have you clean the house? Rosie! Dad! Oh, where did you two disappear to? There's mummy inside. Yeah, where did you two? Where for your mum? Do you think she'll like them? Yes, you'll love them. <laughs> Ty, I need to talk to you. What about? Not now, but I finish at four, so as soon as you're done, we'll talk then, yeah? It's important. These are all I could get. Oh, perfect. Vase is in the kitchen. How did it look in here? Palatial. You know, um... If they're desperate to move, it could all go through in a couple of weeks. I know, but let's not count chickens yet. What do you think I should wear to show them around? What you've got on's fine. But before I forget, let them go up the stairs first. 
and let them open the bedroom doors themselves. That way they get a feel of the house being their own. Good idea. David, look at the state of your shoes. Your mother spent ages on this floor. Mm, sorry. And get your feet off the sofa. You're pathetic, you know that? It's all right, it'll clean up. And what else you got up your sleeve, eh? Because I can tell you now, David, none of your little antics are going to stop us selling this house and moving on. You know, I've lived here all my life, and as soon as he comes on the scene, we've got to move. Selling the house was my idea. Well, you know it. Did you really think you were going to live here forever? You're 19. You need a place of your own. We're doing you a favour. Oh, what, by chucking me out? Yeah, thanks, Joe. Nobody's chucking you out. Yes, you are. You're selling up and you're getting somewhere smaller where there'll be no room for me. There'll always be a place for you wherever I am. Joe's right. You need your independence. Yeah, well, you've got to sell this place first, haven't you? So good luck with that. Right, Mum, we did follow the recipe. Yeah, and they do taste a lot nicer than they look. Oh, they look lovely. Mmm, they're delicious. Hey, what have told you about poisoning your mum? Oh, she likes them. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> so, um, when do you get your results? Well, I've got to go back to the hospital on Friday at four o'clock. Hang on, shouldn't you be at school? Yeah, but they don't mind, they understand. I don't want you missing your schooling because of this. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're both here. I'd give you both a great big hug, but I can't move my arm. <laughs> Kevin, hug them for me. <laughs> <clears throat> it is a secret handed down from generation to generation. Right. You know, I played myself. I should have told you earlier. I should have imparted the wisdom. This should be worth listening to. <laughs> right, now, this is the thing, so they're all the same. Blondes, brunettes, A cup, G cup. The thing is, this is the thing. They are all women. Amazing. Yeah, I'm not following you. See, they all like to think they're different. The careers, they want to be mothers, they want to sail the seven seas on an ironing board. Deep down, they all want the same thing. Well, go on. They all want a man to take charge of them. Is that right? For a man, that's all that's needed. You set your boundaries and you stick by them. So now, this is why your Molly's all over the place, isn't it? You never set your boundaries. So how do I do that? Well, you decide what you want from the marriage. Make it very clear to her that if she steps over that line, for a man. <coughs> Like you did with your Vera, Jack. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know, I'm 90 in a couple of weeks. What you just said is the biggest load of Cogswallop I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Widows, nuns, lesbians, steer well clear of them. Everything all right in here? Oh, yeah, it's great. God. Oh, uh, what's that? Huh? Huh? Oh, I uh, bought some new clubs. You've already got some clubs. Not like these. A thousand pounds ago. You see, that is the perks of being single again. I can spend money on what I want. Customer won't serve it. Mum gave me some money to take you out. No, no, she wanted us here. Well, yeah, she's just trying to buy your affection. What? Well, the way she sees it is. The more money she gives me to spend on you, the less likely you are to dump me. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a dream come true. You get me out of bed and off the computer. Mm. I get you into bed sometimes. <laughs> yeah, at least you can talk to your mum about stuff. I can't talk to my dad about anything. And what about your mum? Well, I've hardly seen her since the divorce. And she's in Southport, and she's got a new family. She's not interested in me. A loss. Anyway, how much money is she giving you? 20. Do you want to go out? Yeah, later. But first, I want to... I'm going.
Found it all right then? Uh, yes, it's quite close to my husband's new job. Oh, oh, great! Uh, what is it you do? I uh, work in insurance. Oh, interesting. Have you um, lived here long? Uh, actually, no. Well, I haven't. Uh, we both just got married. But, but no, no, I've lived here for 19 years. Uh, it was built in 1990, and I moved in as soon as it was finished. I had family in the street. Um, it's a very family orientated area. That's good. It makes all the difference, doesn't it? I thought you'd gone out, David. I did. But I'm back now. Uh, this is my son, David. David, Mr. and Mrs. Burrows, and this is. Um... Jess. All right. Yeah, well, um, this is the living room. As you can see, it's, uh, it's all open plan yeah. down here. We've got painkillers because they said it might get really painful. And I'm not to knock it. Oh, and I've got some exercises to do. OK. So I don't care how painful it gets, just so long as those tests come back clear. Ah, they will. I'm sure they will. Do you know, I was thinking in hospital, I mean, when this sort of thing happens, you end up talking about things you never normally talk about. You know, it's important you should check yourself. How do you mean? Oh, it's not only women who get lumps, is it? I mean, you should check yourself down there. Yeah, of course. No, please, I mean it, Kevin, because, I mean, this has happened to me and we don't know where it's going to lead and we have to think about our girls. Promise me you'll check yourself every month. I promise. We're talking like this, aren't we? Yeah. I'm so thankful I've got you. I mean, come on. It's how many streets have got pedos living on them. Neither of us are what you'd call gardeners. Oh, like me then. A bit of grass to lie out in summer, that's all I need. Yeah. It's a good sized house. Bigger on the inside than you think. Oh, it's very deceptive. Do you um, get any bother from the factory next door? No. No, they just operate working hours, Monday to Friday. It's a very quiet area. And your neighbours? Well, there's a, a family next door. They have a teenage son. He bakes cakes. Uh, the father, that is, not the son. <laughs> is that when he's not breaking in here and smashing your kitchen up? What do you mean? David's been filling me in. I'm not living here, Mum, no way. Place is full of ex-cons and paedophiles. I've got my A-levels this year. Don't mind me spending so much time with Sophia. Yeah. Just, I want to support her and she's so upset about me. You're good, mate. Yeah, I'm not a good boyfriend. <laughs> I knew you'd be with him. Dad, what are you doing here? I've come for you. Get in the car. Why? What's going on? Yeah, that's what I want to know. What's going on between you two? What do you mean? I've seen the comments on your Facebook page. Dad, that's private! Then you shouldn't leave it logged on on my laptop, should you? Or did you do it on purpose so I'd find out about you two having sex? Mr. Powers, you I can... don't talk to me. Just shut it. It's not Ryan's fault. Get yourself in the car. No, I'm not. Watch yourself, lad. I'm warning you. Hey! Don't you go warning my son. How oh, is yours, is he? Did you know he's been forcing himself on my daughter? No one's been forcing anyone. They love each other. Love? She's 16. Yeah, exactly. 16. That's how much they love each other. They waited till her birthday. You knew about them having sex and you didn't try and stop it. Oh, jealous, are you? Doubt you're getting any. Yeah, bet you can't say the same. Business good, is it? Dad! Ryan, leave it. He's not worth it. Sean, car, now. No, you can't make me! Don't give me any lip. Get yourself in that car, all Dad, right? Dad, I know what! You lay one hand on either of them and I am calling the police. Now back off, mate. Seriously. Because if you don't, you're going to do something you'll regret and she won't forgive you. OK. Please, Dad. Sean, we'll talk about this later when you get home. Yeah, good idea. Don't kid yourself, love. Me and that lad of yours have got unfinished business. Come on. I 
told you it was a rough area. And I told you, you get what you pay for. I know you want to talk about something, but uh, I want to have my say first. I'm not happy. I don't like the way you talk to me sometimes. It, it's not right. And Jack says I should lay down the law and that, but that's not right either. Because we're supposed to be equal, you and me, aren't we? That's why we got married. Only sometimes you treat me like you don't want to be married to me. And also... You're right. Am I? Yeah. I treat you badly because... Um, because I don't want to be married to you anymore. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm leaving you. And Corrie continues in half an hour.